Hey y'all, Maggie here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I use oven cleaner to lighten wood and remove stain. I tried this already a few times. It's worked great every single time and I can't wait to show y'all how amazing and easy this process is. Keep in mind, oven cleaner is not great for the environment. Please don't come at me, it's up to you. And honestly, there's no super effective ways that are also environmentally friendly to remove stain, um, especially like citrus strip, even that is somewhat toxic. So I'm gonna show y'all the process and let's get started. First things first, you're going to get whatever you're using. I am going to be using the wood around this mirror and lightening that up. I have done this on several different types of wood and I have noticed Hello, I have noticed that it works best when the stain is oil-based, not water-based. Same with paint. It's not really gonna wanna remove that water-based stain, but it never hurts to try. So here is my oven cleaner. Whoop, let's give it a go. Just gonna give it a good shake. You can use off-brand. I actually ordered the off-brand. Um, I don't recommend the scented types, but Walmart was out of it and they fulfilled it differently. It can take a while to get the right amount of fluff out. You can see how it's turning yellow. That means it's working. It also means there's probably a bunch of gunk that's gonna need to come out. It can get on glass, that's fine. Now I am going to let that sit for a while. It may take a few more coats, but let's give it some time and see. Now get your metal scrub pad, these super cheap at Walmart, and you're actually going to scrub where you've been letting it sit. See that, how light it is compared to over there? It's working. I just scrubbed the whole piece and you can already tell it's significantly lightened. However, these darker spots are darker because they're still wet. So we're gonna give it time and let it dry and then we may do another coat to get it even lighter. I've heard some people have taken up to seven coats. It's still a little too dark, so I am going to repeat the whole process. I just finished the final round of scrubbing. The wood is still a little damp, so it's still gonna be dark, but you can definitely see how much lighter it's gotten. And just for the sake of it, I am going to put a little bit of bleach on it. I've heard you should only use wood bleach, but I've had success with household bleach, so I'm gonna pour some on and why not, right? So much of DIY is figuring it out as you go, and I enjoy that. I'm also gonna enjoy not getting this on my nice outfit because I'm an idiot who is refusing to go change. Scrubbing that bleach in. Now I have my hose and I'm gonna rinse off the frame. I'm not gonna leave the water just sitting there. I'm gonna wipe it right off so it doesn't damage the wood. See all that brown coming off? That's good. Now I'm using my handy crud cutter just to clean off all of the residue. Honestly, I'm too impatient to wait, so I'm gonna use my heat gun on a low setting to try and dry out this wood. The color has clearly lightened and it's much more modern now. I'm gonna show the left is going to be that before and you can see the after. If you enjoyed this project and want to see more DIY tutorials on lightning, painting, flip, painting, flipping, and everything in between, please hit that subscribe button and be sure to follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes information.